please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Be Ready Street Ministries. God bless. Praise God, everybody. Praise God, everybody. See, we're going to give a joyful noise right now because, see, we're not going to keep our mouth shut. Boston has a problem. There's so much division in Boston. Amen. And I don't understand why. I didn't come out here to talk like a little mouse. I came out here to bring the gospel. I came out here to bring the spirit of the Lord out here. Many of you guys out here are running from God. You want to block your ears like you don't hear them. But he sent us out here to speak. Because if you don't want to hear him, you're going to hear him through us. We love you guys. God loves you more than anybody loves you. And understand this. You didn't wake up today by yourself, by your breath, by your blood. You did not wake up today. What God is telling us, that Boston is disobedient. There is a lot of disobedient people in Boston that take him for granted. That pretend that they don't know there's a God. That worship these scientists, but don't worship God. These scientists cannot help you, okay? These scientists cannot help you. These celebrities cannot help you. There's many of you guys that wake up and you get on social media like social media is going to save you. When the rapture comes, the end days come, they're already started. But when God comes here for judgment, guess what? Instagram and Facebook is not going to be able to help you. Amen. So you can look at Facebook, Instagram as much as you want, but it's not there to save you. You will bow down to the Lord. You will confess that he is Jesus Christ, regardless if you like it or not. You may drive down the streets, you may walk down the streets, you may skip and hop down the streets right now, but when he comes back, you will get on them knees. Those that don't want to bow to him now will be able, you will bow down that day. Amen, amen. Whether you like it or not. Y'all don't want to hear nobody. Y'all don't want to hear God. Y'all don't want to hear God. You want to act like you running around because people, you know, they, they hear, oh, we got a free will. Okay, you got a free will here. How many people been to jail? You got a free will till you commit a crime, right? So then you get locked up. That's the same way. God gives us a free will to make a good choice and a bad choice. But then he has consequences. And that's what y'all don't want to feel. You don't want to touch on the consequences of God. But he has feelings just like we do. Okay, he sees everything that you're doing. When we're doing wrong things to each other, he sees it. The crime out here is ridiculous. Killing and shooting. You think God wants to see his children killing each other? He don't want to see that. That's not a, a beautiful sight for him. He wants us to be in unity. He wants us to love each other. He wants us to care about each other and to hold hands in unity. Help each other out. Amen. Boston is so divided. Yes, I know there's a Roxbury in Dorchester and a Mattapan, but it doesn't mean that we have to be divided. Amen. What are we fighting for out here? Because I still have yet to figure out all these years what is Boston fighting about? Why is there gangs? Why are people divided? What is the fight about? What are you getting for it? What does it mean to take a life? You're taking people's children's lives. God doesn't like it. And I'm telling you right now, God sent us out here and, and, and Boston is going to have a judgment. And you can laugh now, cry later. But I'm telling you, Boston is going to have a judgment and God is not going to be playing with Boston. You could be walking today and in a wheelchair tomorrow. Don't ever take your legs for granted and think that you can walk forever because see, God can do what he needs to do in order to get your attention. Many need to repent. Many need to repent. Kill your pride and repent. Don't sit here and think you're here forever. Sister. That yes, many people say, um, 
Yes, you know, we have one life to live. Is that what your portion is? One life to live? Let me tell you, when you're with Jesus Christ, you live eternally, forever. Forever. You have one life to live on this earth, but it depends on what you do. Amen. Okay, you can either okay. go to hell or you can go to heaven. And many of people, when you're when your homies, you know, get killed out here, a lot of them that's not saved that you didn't help. Okay, they didn't make it to heaven. I know it's sad God to bless say, you, but I'm, going, I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm going to give it how God gives it. Many of your homies didn't make it to heaven. What makes you think that it's okay to still rip and run streets and think that you're going to make it to heaven? To live the, the fast life, to live the, the life of evilness and think you're going to make it to heaven. Come here, brother. Bro brother what makes you think that? What guarantees you that you're going to heaven? What's up? No, listen to Those that are shooting okay. and killing, you I think you're going to heaven like that? God don't yeah. want no murderers up I in like heaven. Yeah. God don't okay. want no perversion right. perverts I, 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 up in heaven. No disrespect. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, just to hear. All right. You know what I mean? God doesn't want that up there. It's peaceful up there in heaven. It's peaceful in heaven. It's peaceful in heaven. He doesn't want the stuff that y'all doing down here to be up there in heaven. He wants to let you guys live peacefully. Up there, you're not going to have bills. Up there, you're not going to have drama. Up there in heaven, you're not going to be up there fighting. Gossip. It's beautiful in heaven. That's the way that you should be looking and writing down on Miss. every vision board. Every vision board, every goal of your life should be to make it to heaven. That should be your goal. People are making goals to um to open a business. That's okay to open a business. But I'm saying your goal, a bigger goal should be for you to be make to make it to heaven. That should be your goal. How can I make it to heaven? How can I make it to heaven? That should be your question. Now, how can I get this money? Because see, that money is going to be gone. Money comes and goes. And you know what? You can't take it wherever you're going to. Whether it's heaven or hell, you can't take it with you. So why chase it? Why chase it? God is our provider. You may not see him, but he provides. Amen. Yes, he, he does. He provides. Yes, he does. And I thank God for everything he has provided for myself and my two children. People walk around every day saying that they're single parents, that they have no hope. Okay, as myself, I'm a mother of two, a single parent, but guess what? I don't ask for, I don't need nothing because God provided everything for me and my children. Nothing. If you put your faith and your hope and your trust in God, he'll provide for you. Yes, he will. He'll provide for you. Stop shutting God's mouth. Stop covering your ears like you don't hear him. Stop acting like he doesn't exist, because he does. But see, when something happens, all of a sudden God people know God. One day you swearing and, and, and you believing in this universe, like people call him this new age mess, universe and higher energy, okay? But then when something happens, all of a sudden his name is God. I don't understand. How fake is that? Bro brother? How God fake bless. is that? Can if I give you one? If your name is Billy and somebody called you Bob and one day and then all of a sudden they want to call you Billy when they need some money, you would call them fake too. I got to give it to you guys the raw way because let me tell you something. Y'all got some hard hearts out here. There's a lot of people that got some hard hearts out here. And they need to repent and give their hearts to God because God wants your heart. It's not that he doesn't want your heart, but he does. He wants your heart because you are still his child. He still loves you despite of what you have done, but he's not happy. Okay? He's not happy. And it's not okay what you do. When you're waking up in the morning and, and you're thinking, okay, how much drugs can I sell? How many lives is that really affecting? When you're making that quick buck, that's also killing somebody's life. That's taking somebody's life. Okay? You're chasing that money just to lose, to give somebody else a, a loss for their life? I'm gonna read.